Hi everybody, Simon here. Final episode of Abra Cadabra for now. Episode 12. And I've just recorded this whole episode and the camera had switched off and I didn't see. How frustrating is that? Talking to yourself and no camera recording. Ugh. Bit of wind. Cockerels, sorry. Cats are all pretty much asleep. So, Mem's at work. We left it that uh, Hans had just taken on a hotel room for one month, 10,000 bar. He'd got a motorcycle from the hotel, three, 4,000 baht for a month. And all was set. Gretel hadn't really come back. The lawyers had sent a letter or were sending a letter, nothing there. And Hans had asked X to see each other. And we're going to call X, by popular demand, Lando Carizian. Lando! <laughs> so from this moment on, X, the ladyboy, is now Lando for the final episode. For now. Lando. A couple of days pass, nothing really happens. Um, Hans had got his stuff from his other hotel moved it to the new hotel he was seeing Lando and everything cool really good at this point he telephoned the lawyers he said could he have an appointment come and see them I said yep and uh, Lando shot off home Hans jumped on the bike went off to the lawyers saw the main lawyer the lawyer spoke pretty good English, a little bit of German and Thai. There was also the girl, receptionist, gopher girl in the meeting as well. Everything was being recorded on paper, not voice. So Hans said to the lawyer, right, where are we, what do we, what's happening, how do we stand? And the lawyer said, we've sent the letter, no response from your former Lady Gretel and she could be just being funny and not wanting to respond. Fair enough. He said now we have to decide what you want to do moving forward. We'll look at the facts. I'll give you these facts, give you some costings and it's up to you to decide. So Hans said, great, okay. The lawyer said, you gave Gretel one million baht cash. And I believe it was that Thai bank account, that the sister's bank, the one with the book that he couldn't read, all in Thai. He took a million baht out and gave it to Gretel, who then supposedly put it down on a house buying a house and the lawyer says if we went to court to chase that million bar the judge would be 50 50 if Gretel got a lawyer and went to court with us and she said you gave her a million bar as a present for all her all her work past, present and future helping you settle in Thailand and securing accommodation and then it was a present and payment for everything else then the judge could 50-50 say fair enough he might say that's way too much no you're playing a con he said that is a gamble in court because the cash payment witnesses no maybe the sister witnessed it but even if it was on CCTV at the bank it's just you handing a million baht over he says the car we need proof of who was the previous owner receipts how much was paid for it what how it was paid and 
who's it registered to now? If I remember, didn't he just transfer the money? I can't remember. It's a few episodes ago. But anyway, he said there's a possibility that car might have been hers already, or sisters, or family. They might have actually sold, bought it for two, three hundred thousand baht, not seven hundred thousand baht. It might be worth a lot less. We need the facts, where the car came from, all the proof, paperwork, all the furniture, a lot of it you bought on card, so we can prove all that, and you've still got your laptop. But the main thing is the car money and the house money. Now, to my knowledge, Hans brought over a million baht put in that tyre count a million baht in bits to buy furniture and then the car and he bought a further million baht over put it in the Bangkok bank leaving him about three million in Germany the lawyer says to Hans if we go to court if we do a letter to her explaining we are prepared to go to court and that we want her to furnish us with all the documentation of everything and if she plays around and doesn't produce we can force the court however there's costs involved and you might not win we could also have to go back to court if she wants more time for information you could end up with two court cases and there's a possibility you won't get that money the million baht back in my opinion he says you'll probably get the car and the furniture but what's the car worth what's the furniture worth the costs of the court could add up for a couple of visits to court could add up to about 200,000 baht and on top of that you've got the legal fees for us all the letters backwards and forwards all updates we'll do to you by phone and we won't charge for your updates but all the letters backwards forwards and all the court letters will add up probably to another couple of hundred thousand baht and if things not quite right with a contingency you could have a half a million baht bill at the end of this and have nothing there is a chance you have to decide do you want to take that risk do you want to go forward and Hans immediately says yes even if I don't win, I want her to pay in some form, whether it's her time going to court, backwards and forwards, and knowing we're serious. The lawyer says, okay, we've got some paperwork you need to sign to confirm all that. What else do you want to talk about? And Hans pulled out his book, Thai book uh, bank account from that Thai bank the Gretel sister Greewalks bank all in Thai so the lawyer checks it yep it is your name it's all in Thai everything's above board but I advise you close that bank because otherwise they will have insight into your money maybe through the sister Hans agrees and said I will do that Hans said the next thing I need to get is my visa I have a non-immigrant O 90 day I need to get the retirement extension, one year extension. And the lawyer pulls up all the info. He said, we can help you with that. I can send the girls down to immigration with you, do all the paperwork. He said, let's have a quick look. And he checks through. And this is before some of the recent changes have been announced on the retirement extension. So a few months ago, it was on your first retirement extension application. 800,000 baht or 65,000 baht a month income or both of part of both but mainly 800,000 baht in the bank account for two months prior to your first application he had that because he would brought another million over but it's only six weeks ago so the lawyer agrees in a couple of weeks we could do this and sort it out and right let's do all this that's fine Hans said I've got a hotel for four weeks, I've got a rented bike, can I go touring after that month up, after we've done the visa, I want to go and tour around and have a look at the other parts of Thailand, 
is that going to be okay? Yes, he said. As long as you've got your phone with you and you can get back to us if needed, everything will be fine. We'll keep you up to date, at least weekly. Everything sorted. Hand signed some bits of paper and says brilliant. Leaves. A couple of weeks pass, he comes back, gets his retirement extension sorted with the lawyers and the immigration gets it all stamped another 10 days left at the hotel he agrees with Lando X that they're going to see each other and that Lando's going to join him they're going to go on a tour Lando's sharing a room which is about 3,000 baht a month with this other girl Hansa said I'll pay your half of the rent leave your stuff there we'll rent a car the hotel's got a company down the road they know we'll rent a second hand car cheap and we'll go off for a month and see how we get on you know, south Lando's over the moon he's got his visa hands the lawyers started letters and no news nothing no news at all what's Gretel up to maybe burying her head in the sand and ignoring it We move on, day before Hans is off and leaving the hotel, he's got a car lined up, 12,000 baht a month. The lawyer rings and said, Gretel has responded saying that she will gather paperwork together for our requests. That's all the letter said. The lawyer says she's just stalling for time she could take another three, four weeks before she sends us anything. He said, she's playing the long game. He said, so we've just got to wait. We've done the letter. We have to allow her so many days to respond again. And if not, we'll chase again. And even set a court date if needed. So Hans is like, right, okay. The lawyer did say that if that car is in her name, she could get rid of that car quickly um, before she had received our letter. There's a chance that could happen. So he said, we'll see what she's up to. As soon as we get the paperwork, we'll let you know. Hans is like, oh dear. Okay. Finishes talking to the lawyer day or so later, finish the hotel, hands the bike back, picks up a rental car, puts all his belongings in the car, he hasn't got many with him, and Lando and Hans head south. Now, because this is a live ongoing story, I'm going to stop the story here at this point that Hans is falling for Lando, they're heading off south touring Thailand, the lawyers are taking control of the situation with Gretel, because right now the lawyers are still handling the Gretel situation, it is live, it's still ongoing, Hans is still with Lando X and they are still touring. This could be a happy ever after ending. What will happen to Gretel, we will learn over the coming months. So rather than me guess and close the story down, we'll wait till it gets to the natural ending. So that's it for now. Hans is happy, Lando's happy, Gretel's up to no good. I'll revisit this story in the future. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. It will continue. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hmm. Hans and Lando. <laughs>